Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Aiman binti Shahrum. In this video, I will discuss about introduction part. Our traffic study is about journey speed. Journey speed is the effective speed of vehicles on a journey between two points and is the distance between the two points divided by the total time taken for vehicles to complete the journeys including any stop time. There are two methods of journey speed. The first method is moving observer method and the second one is plate matching method. For our traffic study, we choose moving observer method. Moving observer method is the procedure commonly used to estimate the average flow and journey time of traffic on a road link through data collected from a moving vehicles. Observe in the test car are required to travel along the road in the direction of stream considered counting the number of slower car vehicles overtake and number of faster vehicles which overtake them and record their journey time. A time is then made in opposite direction, counting the number of opposing vehicles made and against record the journey time. There are two pictures that relate to moving observer method. The objective of our traffic study is first one to get relationship between fundamental stream characteristic. Second, to collect data relate to travel time, speed, average flow rate and traffic density. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Shafizan bin Samsudin. Uh, now I want to explain about the methodology that we use for collecting data in order uh, to fulfill our topic journey speed. Uh, the methodology we use is a moving observation method. For moving observation procedure, there are some procedure of moving observation method. First, we need a test vehicle to fulfill our method. Second, the test vehicle need to drive in the same speed in the test road or location data collecting. Third, the test vehicle need to move from first point to second point. Fourth, time taken from the first point to second point need to be recorded. We need to divide into three categories for counting vehicle. First, we need to count the vehicle we overtake. Second, the vehicle overtook first. And third, the vehicle came from opposite. For collecting data from second point to first point, we need to repeat the same procedure. This is our test vehicle. We have decided the location for our assignment at the Skudai Pontian Highway, the way to Pekanenas Pontian. Our first point is point A and second point is point B. It is about 3.9 km distance. We distribute a task in five as follow. Me as Shafizan as a driver test vehicle and also measuring the distance from point A to B by using the car odometer trick. Nurul Aiman as a timekeeper. Shara Hisham, the person in charge for counting the vehicle we overtook. Mat Ismail, uh, participate in counting the vehicle come from opposite. And Kozin Hizga, in charge in counting the vehicle what to us. So in data collection, uh, 
our root length uh, was 3900 meter and around 2:33 pm we started uh, traveling from point a to b so in this table uh, these are the data we have got uh, which are time traveled in seconds a uh, given uh, for both directions and number of vehicles coming from opposite directions number of vehicles that overtaken the test vehicle and the number of vehicles that overtaken by the test vehicle so in uh, the results and calculations uh, for from point a to b the data we have got are the vehicle we overtook is just one the vehicle overtook us is uh, two and the vehicles come from the opposite direction was 65 and the travel time we have take, mm, taken from point A to B uh, was uh, 247 seconds and travel time from point B to A was 222 seconds. So first we need to calculate the volume in each direction uh, which is uh, 530 vehicle per hour using the formula. Uh, and then we got the average travel time which is 240.20 seconds. Uh, then finally we got the average journey speed from point A to point B which is 58.46 km per hour. So now from point B to A uh, the vehicle um, that we overtook is 0 and the vehicle that overtook us is 2 and the vehicle coming from the opposite direction was 68 and the travel time from uh, this direction was 222 seconds and travel time uh, from TA from the opposite direction was 247 seconds. So now calculating mm, the volume in each direction, uh, we got the value 515 vehicle per hour. Then we need to calculate the average travel time uh, using the formula we have got 208.01 seconds. And finally, we calculated our average journey speed from point B to point A, which is 67.5 km per hour. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shahiru Hisham bin Aman Shah, and today I'm going to discuss about the conclusion and the discussion that we obtained from our project. From the data collected for Route 1, the time travel is longer by 20 seconds compared to Route 2. The amount of vehicle coming from the opposite direction from A to B is lesser than from B to A. It showed that more people were headed to Pontian Highway. The highest volume in each direction was at Route 1 from A to B with 530 vehicles per hour. Next, the longest average time travel calculate in Route 1 is 200 40.20 seconds while the fastest average journey speed was at route 2 from B to A with 67.5 km per hour. And finally, the objective for this project which is to compare the traffic flow and speed using the moving observer method to the traffic flow and speed measurements has been achieved. And the study had been conducted smoothly without any interference as the weather was sunny and the traffic were good. That's all from me. Thank you. First of all, this is the group project of Group 9 for Traffic Engineering course. Our project is about journey speed by using moving observer method. Our procedures is started with choosing a location to get actual data. Then we did our measuring data at Skudai Pontain Highway. After that, we divide the types of data that we want to have and we distributed them to all the members of the group. During our visit to the location, we needed to have these jobs. Uh, one for driving our vehicle and one for recording the time and one for measuring those vehicles that we overtook and one for the vehicles that overtake us 
and one and the last one for the vehicles coming towards our uh, vehicle it means opposite of us and uh, we have done these procedures for forward and backward sides of the way.